Hey guys, so today is the day we're gonna be starting to um, choose some paint colors. And basically the colors that I'm rooting for definitely have more of a cool undertone to it. So we went to... <laughs> Hey guys, so for today's video, we are going to be choosing some paint colors for the inside of the house. While Olivia's watching her Puffin Rock show, she loves birds so much. This is the only cartoon that she want to watch. Birds. Um, we went to Lowe's the other day and we picked out lots of like pamphlets like this and colors, different shades of white, different shades of gray. Why is this wet? There's dog slobber all over it. Like. For the color of the house, I've always decided I want everything to have a cool undertone. I want everything to be more on the cool side rather than the warm side. It's just my preference. I just feel like the warm side is more of an antique color to me. Cool is much more fresher. So I grabbed a couple of white shades, different shades of white, different shades of gray, and different pamphlets just to kind of, I don't know, inspire me. I looked online and I found this website kind of talked about different shades and undertones of white because we needed the trim color badly since in my previous videos I told you that we're gonna have some kind of louvers inside the house I didn't know that there's such things as types of materials that is gonna complement more warmer paint color or a cooler paint color I guess it's kind of the same sense as like your makeup primer the color of your eye primer um, of course will alter or affect the colors that you're gonna put on top of that so I guess that's kind of why he needs the trim color as soon as possible just so he can get the right materials for those louvers and stuff so the first pair that i kind of liked are these two and i know they almost don't have a difference it's very very faint like this one right here is called nebulous white and this one right here is called snowbound not as emphasized as it is but i kind of like it it's very low-key and just kind of like me cute low-key wow <laughs> These, I got these um, pamphlet just because I wanted to be inspired by these very, very cool, and just playful, soft colors for their room for little Davy and Olivia's room because, of course, we want everything to be soft as possible. And I also got this different shades of white although i ended up not liking this because all of these have more of a warm undertone for the most part everything has a warm undertone and the next pairing that i paired is i really like this three shades of gray right here because it definitely has more of a cool undertone to it and this one right here is definitely more on the blue side i didn't want it to be dark because the other house um the first one that we've had that one has like a very dark gray wall and although i really liked it like it was very neutral that everything was complementing anything that you would put in it fixture wise this time i really told myself that i wanted to have like a much more lighter and softer gray i really got inspired just don't mind the slobber okay i have three german shepherd dogs so but this is kind of like really what inspired me like look at that look how cool and fresh this one right here is called Saxon Gray. It's definitely like gray gray, but not too deep. And this one in the middle, this one is called Stone Eagle. I really like this because it's softer than this one. It's like, I don't know, it's cute. Cause this one, I feel like it's too blue. That's my problem with this icicle color right here. It's very fresh, but it's so obvious that the girl that's like light, 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 light blue. Kind of like that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see like this cream wall right here is definitely more on the warm side um this one right here is the saxon gray as you can see it's much more darker and look at the stone eagle it's very light gray and just cute and fresh i'm gonna talk to my husband about it we'll see where we go from there so we're gonna go from there like these three are the only three choices that i'm gonna have for the walls inside the house and i wanted to pair these two right here with
with this color and this is called extra white this extra white has more of a blue undertone to it i feel like it's gonna go so well with either of the two like look at that now as you can see this one is really gray and you can kind of see how this would pop out with this kind of trim color i'm really digging this too right here and so of course i really wanted to see those combinations and i really wanted to know like how it's gonna look like on a room i found a blog that literally used those two stone eagle for the walls and extra white as a trim color. It's so cute, like look at this. That's how it's gonna look like. And as you can see, it's fresh, it's cute, it's low key, but cute. <laughs> That's kind of for today's video. It's probably so boring, like I just talked about paints. Uh oh, Papa. Say hi. Uh oh, Papa. It's more than mommy. Papa. I'm having breakfast and this is my breakfast on a pot. Because I'm not going to Why not just eat straight out of the pot? I put almonds in my oats and Milo. Milo every day. He's here. I'm awake. He's very smiley now. He laughs a lot. And he's definitely chunkier. Like, nakakapanggigil po. Hey guys, so it's currently 11 a.m. and what Mom is about to do is I'm gonna clean the house because it's kind of a mess. But um, I'm not gonna show you like what I'm gonna do. Like that's so boring, me cleaning the house. But before I end this vlog, I am gonna show you guys what I got from. A store that I really really love and it is called Windsor store their stuff is not cheap but if they do have like a clearance or a sale it's a pretty good deal don't mind the background because the background is gonna be like full of dishes and stuff so these are the stuff that I got from Windsor I've been buying a lot of things there lately um, just because most of my winter clothes are in a box hidden inside a pods container so I just decided that I'm just gonna shop some winter clothes for this winter since the house won't be done until probably next year February but I do have some other things here that is for summer clothes or spring clothes the reason why I got them is because they're on big clearance and I love I'm telling you I love the quality of clothes and dresses from Windsor store they can be pretty expensive but again if they have something on sale it's a really really good deal like grab it before you, before it's too late because the quality of their clothes is so good like it's they're not cheaping you out with some see-through fashion nova kind of like type of fabric or forever 21 some stuff from forever 21 are pretty pretty good for what they cost but a lot of their stuff especially shirts and dresses like the second time you wear them and the second time you wash them they start to kind of wavy end and everything just starts to deteriorate and shrink so bad so this one right here is a dress it's a skater dress romper so it kind of has like a short underneath that's why i really like this um i got this in size small back then before i got pregnant with olivia before i became a mom i used to be so so tiny like 90 pounds i'm so happy with windsor because they're extra small fits me so well like a lot of the stuff here in the united states would fit me so loose but then after i gave birth you know my bones kind of have adjusted and my body has matured more and i like my body actually like i like how my weight is 105 pounds now i look more healthier and like i like it more so i have sized up to small but their small is still pretty good like the size is still pretty decent and it fits me so well like just beware if you're gonna get some extra small on that place Windsor it's pretty legit like they're true true to size that's what I hate about forever 21 a lot of their extra small is still like really really big so next one is this paper shorts 
this one is in size small because again the extra small is gonna be so so fit on me it's not gonna be comfortable so this is it look at that i love the fabric the fabric is so comfortable it's kind of like stretchy it's a very very comfortable fabric I had a discount so it went down from $9 to $8. So this paper bag shorts right here, it's $8. And I remember this thing used to be like $20 or something. This romper is also $10. Like most of the stuff in here, like this dress, it's so cute. It's just $10. This used to be like 40 bucks. They still have a lot of sizes available even though it's on clearance already. The quality is so good. I'm telling you, you need to shop there. So look at this. This one is a linen romper. I actually was eyeing this up for so long already. I was so afraid because on the photo, it looks like it's going to be like very, very thin fabric and see-through. But then when I saw it on clearance and then it went to $8, I was like, all right, I'm gonna get that. It's so cute. The fabric is actually not see-through at all. Like I really thought like on the photo, it looks like it's so see-through. This one, it's pretty cute. <gasps> when they don't have these straps adjustable. Although, look at this. It's kind of cute. I'm not gonna put it on because I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I got another paper bag shorts. I've been actually really obsessed with shorts like these. It pairs with everything. Okay, I guess this is the one where I spent $17. Like, look at that. This is like 40 bucks. This striped dress, this one used to be 30 bucks. So this one right here, it's kind of like a jogger military style. I guess it's like a high waist but it looks like it's gonna be big on me if it is i'll probably just give it to my sister she kind of has like that boyish style so yeah sophia this is for you so this one is a skirt has a short underneath which i love this one used to be 26 dollars and now it's just eight dollars all in all i spent about one two three four five six sixty seventy dollars for everything that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i feel like i talked only i really miss talking <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching bye